I'm sure you've seen the videos talking about if you as a woman would date a bi man, yada yada, why you would or wouldn't, why you should or shouldn't have to explain that. The way a lot of women are talking about it and imagining it is just not real life and it's not realistic. Somebody doesn't show up in your life and you go, oh, you're bi, I'm not going to date you. You start talking to someone who's attractive. Guess what? Sometimes the hottest people are bi or gay or have riz. Not all bisexual men are like oozing feminine energy and I can tell that these women are imagining it as like they're automatically repulsed by this man's presence or like femininity or bisexuality and they're like I'm not attracted to that you very may well maybe and ha probably have been attracted to bisexual men and you may or may not have ever found out that they were bisexual sometimes people are just for people and I know that they're imagining it as like just not the way it is in real life like it's all coming from imagined circumstance in their brain and as somebody who is actually dated by men, that's not how it works. That's not how life works. And you just, you also may not know. That being said, you know, some of my formative years were in Los Angeles. So I am just used to that. Women sometimes don't understand that you may not know somebody is bi and you may start dating them and you may start liking them and you may not find out for a while that that person is bi. Like you can't just look at them and tell that they're bi. It feels very like Sodom and gomorrah the way they're talking about it. And I'm like, dude, you may not even notice. You know what I mean? Like, it's like, see, like I am pansexual, bisexual. There's guys that I've dated that may not even know that. Do you know what I mean? Or they may not even have noticed if I didn't tell them. And the, the assumption that it's like so, so opposite is... A presumption you know what I mean and it's also like very much that's not like I can tell you from experience that the way that they are speaking about it is very much like imagined it's not coming from their experience they're like imagining how it would be and I think they imagine that these men come with like automatic feminine energy with a flag tattooed on their head and they're like wearing rainbow and they have nothing attractive about them to a woman no a lot of these men are like hot men because and like sometimes i think about first of all first of all first of all actually i think we're gonna see a lot more men start to personally in my lifetime i have seen guys that I know or so many guys in general start to identify as sexually fluid or open or bi or pan or gay in the past couple years same way a lot of us have so I think that people are gonna maybe be in for a little bit of a rude awakening in the sense of not like a lot of people are about to be some sort of queer like it's still in flux people are still learning about how that can be different than the way it was first presented to them and like literally there's people that I know that have completely changed their sexual identity in the past couple of years and I think that that sort of thought process is becoming more and more available to men so what I'm saying is okay also sorry I know my head is everywhere you know when you read about like older rulers and like a lot of their sexuality was more fluid and how kind of this more rigid idea of sexuality is a little bit more of a modern thing i'm just saying don't count on it don't count on it to stay that way like so sometimes hot people are just gay do you know what i mean like and i think the way that women the women i've seen talking about this or talking about it they're like Ew, like, and blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, the most attractive man in the room could be a bi man. And you could fall in love with him. And you may just never know until you know. And then what are you going to do? Be like, no, my heart is wrong. You might do that, but you might not. 